Hi, I'm Kiri. I'm the business growth strategist at Tiny Hunter. Last week, a friend shared a report with me that talked about the average time brands have to influence a shopper in the supermarket. Now, this differs across categories, but for condiments, it's around 13 seconds. In sources, it's more like seven. And if you're nearing the end of your shop and you're in the freezer section, you're starting to feel a bit cold, it's even less. So regardless of where your product sits in the supermarket, chances are it's working really hard to earn its place in your trolley. So what are you doing to make sure you're standing out on the shelves? Have you established a strong brand identity that's consistent across your packaging, making it really easy for consumers to spot your product from the distance? Are you using unique and eye-catching colors? Is your logo recognizable? Have you got a distinctive feature of your packaging that's different from your competitors? Is your messaging simple and to the point? For many brands, packaging is their biggest touch point, and for some, it's the first and only time consumers interact with their brand. So it needs to make a good and fast impression. It needs to stand out, connect, and deliver. There's a lot to consider there. Packaging is not a quick and easy process. It takes time and a lot of thought and it should be ongoing as well. So in order for you to stay relevant and competitive, you should be constantly reviewing your packaging, talking to customers, getting retail partner feedback. The list goes on. So give your packaging the love and the care and the thought that it deserves because you don't have long to win your shopper over. And if you're not standing out, then you're fading away. That's it for me. It's time for Brecky.